welcome viewers in this video we'll see the introduction about the servo motors subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box now we we'll go to the topic servo motor we know that this is used for the control control purpose both ac and dc servo motors are available separate video available for dc servo motor and ac servo motor this video will give the introduction about the servo motor they are also called control motors and have the high torque capabilities normally it is used for controlling purpose unlike large industrial motors they are not used for continuous energy conversion but only for precious speed and precious position control at a high torque like a normal motor is not continuously rotating it is used for speed and speed and position control with a high torque at the high torque speed and position control for that purpose these motors are used of course their basic principle of operation is same as that of other electromagnetic motors however their construction design and mode of operation are different their power ratings vary from a fraction of watts up to few hundred watts due to their low inertia they have high speed of response high speed of response that is why they are similar smaller in diameter but longer in length right so the low inertia so high speed high speed response small changes with responded in the speed so that smaller size diameter but length is there they generally operate at a very low speed or sometimes zero speed zero speed also possible they find wide application in radar tracking and guidance system process controller computer and machine tools wherever we need a precision control there we are using this radars tracking and guidance in that this uh, rotation is not important just uh, moving the position moving the position with the high torque so that in tracking and guidance also we are using this servo motor process controller computer and machine tools both ac and dc servo motors are available at present two phase as well as three phase motors are available now we'll see the some application capabilities what are the capabilities of the servo motor differ from others servo motor differ in applications capabilities from large industrial motor in the following respect first one they produce high torque at all speed including zero speed always the torque is very high even the zero speed they are capable of holding a static position that is no motion static position so that that is used in the radar and tracking guidance system it will hold a static position they do not overheat at standstill or lower speed right there is no problem of any heating overheating even at the lower speed or standstill due to low inertia they are able to reverse the direction quickly low inertia is there so reversing of the direction is is made easy quickly they will reverse the direction they are not accelerate and deaccelerate they are able to accelerate deaccelerate quickly acceleration deacceleration is can be done quickly they are able to return to a given position position time after time without any drift without any drift they will return to the original position with drift means there is no time delay or position changes there is no change in position automatically it will get back to the original position without any drift this motor looks like a usual electric motor only the diameter is lesser and length will be more their main difference from the industrial motor is that more electric wires come out of them 
for power as well as control. Normally in normal motors we have either 3 wires or 2 wires. For single phase 2 wire, 3 phase 3 wires. But here so many wires are available. This is for a control purpose. So controlling of this motor done by other electronic circuit. Right? So the control purpose so many wires will come out. The servo motor wires go to the controller and not to the electric line through the conductors. Only two lines will go to the electric, other things will go to the controller. This controller will manage the DC servo motor or AC servo motor, it will give the instruction for rotation, speed rotation, everything is given by the controller. Usually a tachometer is mechanically connected to the motor shaft, tachometer and sometime blower or fan may also be attached for the motor cooling at the lower speed. Right? Tachometer we can connect with the shaft. For cooling purpose blower or fan is connected at the to cool the motor at the lower speed. So in this video we discuss the servo motor. What is mean by servo motor? How it is different? What is the main application of the servo motor? And what are the capabilities for large industrial motors the main thing is control purpose for controlling purpose we are using this servo motor not for rotation purpose so that it is controlled by the controller separate controller this controller will give the instruction for all the operation the controller will give the instruction ac and dc servo motor separate video available link is given in the description box Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening. All the best for your examination.